The XL, XL was a range of mobile phones developed by the British company Technophone in the 1980s. These mobile phones were advertised as the smallest, lightest most intelligent mobile phones in the world at that time, and were the first to fit in a pocket. While much larger than later mobile telephones at 7 inches tall, 3 inches wide and 1 inch deep, they were very much more compact than mobiles of their time, which included models by Motorola and Stornophone, and dedicated car phones. Technophone was commissioned by the controlling shareholder of Millicom, Jan Stenbeck for Vodafone and his Swedish cellular firm, Comvic. It also received a research and development grant from the Department of Trade and Industry to develop the M1. This provided the DTI insight into how the mobile could change from an expensive professional electronics item only affordable by industry executives and millionaires to a mass consumer item. It led the DTI to create the conditions for the personal communications network transformation in the seminal consultation document, Phones on the Move. The first phone sold by Excel Communications of Washway Road, Sale, Cheshire was the M1 and later the M2 and the M2 Philips Class 3 phone. The phone cost around £2,500 when first launched and some owners were Terence Trent Darby, David Steele, Joan Collins and Jonathan Morris from the popular Liverpool-based TV show Bread. The Excel phone range were also featured in the TV show owned by the character Joey who brandished his phone everywhere he went. The phones were actually dummy phones created by members of the mobile phone repair team. Topic. Background Technophone Limited was set up in 1984 by Nils Martinsson, a Swedish radio engineer who had left Ericsson. The company made mobile phones in the UK under the Excel label, and also made phones for other companies such as Deutsche Bundespost and Olivetti. Technophone sold their mobile phones through Excel Communications branded as the Excel M1 and M2 or PC105T. Excel Communications was started by Cheshire-based entrepreneurs, and the company was later handed over to the sole management of Michael Goldstone. The company had a heavy sales emphasis, and sales agents were very highly paid. The Pocketphone PC-105T was released in 1986 and retailed at £1,990. As the adverts showed, it would fit inside a standard-sized shirt pocket. Technophone was awarded the Queen's Award for Enterprise, Innovation Technology in 1988 for the development of the PC-105 Pocket Phone. Technophone Limited held 80% of the shares of Excel Communications Limited when it was sold to Dial A Phone Mobile in 1989. Technophone was sold by Martinson for around £50 million in 1991 to Nokia. The factory in Camberley, Surrey used by Technophone was then used for the development and manufacture of the base stations which make the network's mobile phones work on Nokia networks. The mobile phone part of the business was split into various areas around the world and has become part of Nokia mobile phones, with phones designed and made globally. Phones. <laughs> <laughs> The first phone in the range made by Technophone and sold by Excel Communications was the M1 phone, followed by the M2 and the M3, which was recorded as the world's first Class 3 analog portable phone. The M3 had links to Philips and may have been made by Philips. The M3 phone was longer and bulkier than its predecessors, and not very successful commercially. Topic. Accessories. A range of accessories was available, including In-car charger Hands-free car kit Desktop charger Short stubby aerial Long aerial Leather carrying case Networks At the time the phones had to be contractually subscribed to one of the two major mobile phone networks, Vodafone and Cellnet. <laughs> <laughs> 